Good afternoon. I welcome you to this assembly as we join millions of people in South Africa and all over the world in mourning the passing away of one of the greatest sons of the soil, Nelson Kholitlatra Mandela. Ah, Dalipur! This is a very sad day indeed for South Africa. Whether it comes suddenly or with agonizing slowness, death creates disruption and crisis in the life of everyone connected to it. We are dumbfounded and at a loss. The passing away of Madiba marks the end of an era of such a distinctive caliber of leadership that has served our country so well with integrity and honor a leadership that had a sense of purpose and which espoused excellence in all it did. In the heavenly language, which is, is a cause, we are united in saying, Nacho ke gocha lama gocha, kawe lama kawe, msimbiti wom tonyama, yem yem opozobozu, O vela dem penzele, tambo dala ka debem konota, o vota kauli no soko lo ben nawe, kuse epaka deni la sema paka deni, se chongam kalam ye song e kase city, humla go kolo, konde ye swagas la se Afrika, om zama om she o zamile, o kato o lufezile. Whilst we lament the death of this great statesman, we are nevertheless united in celebrating a life well lived. Here lies a man whose life was a shining light in the dark misery of young, long years of apartheid. A visionary in a land where visions were clouded, were counted as threats, a dreamer of a bright future among oppressors who held onto a despairing present with iron clad fists, a hero in the face of the power of little people whom he did not despise because he understood them better than they knew themselves, an optimist who believed in the goodness inherent in every person, and unswerving in his confidence that goodness will out, right will triumph, and justice prevail. The world will be sadly empty without him, for his choices and his commitments rewrote world history. We stand in awe of this man who believed in the goodness of humankind in spite of his evil choices and most malevolent plans. We are humbled by his conviction that truth is unassailable, that forgiveness can heal guilt and reconciliation open a bright new free future. We are inspired by his faith in humanity his trust in Ubuntu and his love for our land and all his people. The world will be an objectively poorer place without him, for his choices and commitments renewed the face of humanity. Let me end with an Isipedi proverb. Life is a message. Listen to it. Life is a belief Trust it. Life is a gift. Accept it. Life is love. Think about it. Life is an, an adventure. Dare it. May you rest in peace 
and rise in glory.